everyone, it's Just Ideas, and today I am going to do a product review for the fashion brand Allegra K. They sent me a gift with two clothing items, and I'm going to do my honest review on these products. They sent me the items in this plain plastic mailer. Inside, there were these two clothing items and, of course, a note. And the note says Just Ideas on it. And they have their social media at the bottom. So I will link all of that below. They also have um, an Amazon shop, which I've seen a lot, which is how I know about their product. I chose this Allegra K romper. It's like a pale pinkish color. And I got it because I thought it would be perfect for summertime. It's such a nice color. It's an extra small. And as you can see, their clothing actually has like tags with their company's name on it, so it's pretty legit. And I also chose this blazer. And it apparently has elbow patches too. I got this because I am hoping to land a really good summer job where I can actually wear work clothes. I thought this blazer was really cute. It's gonna be one of my favorite new blazers. So now I'm just gonna open both packages and show you guys what the clothing is like and comment on it and try them on. So the first thing is the pink romper and it comes in this Ziploc baggie. So I'm feeling this material and it's actually a very nice material. I expected it to be really thin and cheap feeling. It's thin but it doesn't have a cheap feel to it. There's like an open back sort of. And there are pockets which is really nice because a lot of rompers or dresses don't come with pockets. These do, and they're actually deep enough to hold stuff. The back does have pockets too, but these are fake pockets. They're just... <laughs> I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what it's like. So this is the romper, and it's very comfortable and was pretty easy to put on. The back is somewhat revealing. I mean, the tag's doing a lot of covering for me, but it's pretty revealing, so it's recommended that you wear a tank top or a bralette underneath. The waistband is very stretchy, so don't worry about not being able to put it on. This is what the shorts part looks like. It's not too short and not too long, so it hits right where my thumbs are. The real pockets are quite nice. The top is very baggy, gives off this very loose tank top look. This romper actually can match a lot of different clothing items, and if you wanted to make it more chic, you could probably add a belt. romper can be and it's also very pretty pale pink color and it's not revealing and it's not too short not too tight it's very loose fitting and casual I just wish it was slightly easier to button the clasp at the back because it is kind of hard to see because it's really small I would prefer if the button or the elastic was a bit bigger but overall this is a very nice item I would give it at least an 8 out of 10 the next thing is the blazer. Hold it very nicely. It is very cute. There are elbow patches on it. I love the lining on the inside. I think the lining inside is so pretty. And the button is really big. Right away, I can tell that the shoulders are padded. And the fabric is very similar to the fabric of the romper, except the blazer just feels a little bit thicker because of the lining which is really smooth feeling. I'm just gonna try on this blazer and tell you guys what it's Here like. Here is the blazer and I really like the fit of this one. Um, the shoulder padding actually does help it have a nicer shape. I paired it with a plain black pleated skirt to go with the black elbow patches and a rib caged tank top feels really comfortable and I don't feel like my arms restrained by the material at all. And the sleeves are just the right length. Still a bit wrinkly, but you know, anything that could be fixed with an iron. And the buttons look very nice. The back is a bit boxy, but it might just be like that 
because I'm a very petite person. There is one button. And that's how it looks if you keep it closed. Very formal look. So I like that this blazer is really versatile. I know it's going to be one of my wardrobe essentials now because this blazer can be used for casual events, but you could also dress it up to look business casual or formal. Um, and if you want to further dress it up, here are my glasses from one of my first product reviews. You can look super office chic. I hope I end up getting a job because I'd love to wear this blazer for real reasons. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could probably cut the sleeves like that. You could pair this with a more summery top and some casual shorts for a more going out to hang out with friends look instead of a business look. Overall, I really like the quality of this blazer and I like that it matches a lot of things. I give this blazer a 9 out of 10. It's very good quality and has very nice shape and fits perfectly. Thank you so much Allegra K for sending me these items to review. I really enjoyed the quality of the products and I'm very pleased with how fast it arrived. I think it took like less than two weeks which is really good because it came from Hong Kong. I will put their online shop and Amazon link down below and the individual links of each clothing item. The links I put down below are not commissioned, so don't worry about clicking them and then paying me. Um, yeah, that doesn't happen. I did receive these items for free, so that's the only sponsored part about this video. Thank you, Allegra K, so much for these clothes. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know if you guys want to see some sort of lookbook video because I had an idea. When you're moving in for college, you obviously can't bring your whole wardrobe. You're gonna have to like narrow yourself to like only a few like clothing items. I had an idea where I would like discuss which items I'm gonna bring to college um, just to keep my suitcase light and to be able to like mix and match my outfits. So let me know if you guys want to see some video like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also thank you guys for 900 subscribers. I actually wasn't even keeping track of my subscriber count for a while now because I've been busy, but I realized that I hit 900, so thank you guys so much. I know I've been busy, but thank you guys so much for getting me to 900 despite all my hardships, so thank you guys, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye guys!